Hello, 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 everyone. Renee Michaels here. And today I wanted to talk about something that's pretty, pretty authentic, pretty, pretty vulnerable. And that's who am I? And I know a lot of us think, who am I? And what kind of person do, does, do people see? And yesterday I was cleaning my bathroom and I found the secrets right here in this bathroom. So let me bring you to my bathroom. Pretty darn vulnerable. And I've had, I had everything, everything all over this place on every surface, although it's not too big of a bathroom, but every surface. And I needed to pull it all together. And as I was pulling it all together, I thought these things are so important to me. I didn't want to put them away. I didn't want to tuck them away. I feel like if I tuck them away, then they're gone and they're just not readily available. But what does that mean for me? That means that these things are so part of my life that it is who it is. It's me. So I found this hair piece. Let's just start with that. Like what the heck is this? So when I had long hair, I was able to put it up in a ponytail and then I had this hair piece that I wrapped around and I loved it. It was fun. It was cool. Well, I don't have that long hair anymore, but I still put it on. I think it's kind of cool. What do you think? I know it's silly, but I had it. It's a part of me. I like that. I like wild and crazy hair. I like to be able to put it up in a messy, say that I can put it up in a messy bun. How about you? But you just don't have the hair to do it. I see it on television. I want to try it. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> So just fun, fun, fun kind of stuff. It's here in my bathroom and it reveals little secrets about me. So how about over here? This was a mess, a total mess. So I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna come over here and explain why these things are so important to me, which gives you a little insight into who I am. So I love clocks. If you've heard my other videos, maybe you haven't heard me um, talking through it because I try not to talk through it, but I have rolling clocks of sound. So I have clocks in almost every room that gong and they all don't gong at the same time. They gong at different times. I love to hear that. I have cuckoo clocks, I have antique clocks, I have other fun clocks. Well, this clock, I just put back together. It wasn't working. I put a battery in it and I don't know if you can hear it, but it makes a noise. You know, it's not one of those silent clocks. I like noise that comes from a clock. So I love this. You guys know that I live in the 1717 farmhouse. <laughs> it is very unique and you will see that in my bathroom. And again, it's being authentic, you guys. And I love being authentic. I love being who I am and not pretending to be someone else. The other thing that I like is this washroom sign. It's old, it's part of my antiques, my old house look. And same thing with these candlesticks, which are old spools. But I wanna show you something else. Can you see this? Let me sit down so you can see this. His and her mirrors. <laughs> it cracks me up. So my husband uses this mirror to fine tune and do some manscaping. I need this mirror to do some primping. The mirror lights up. It shows me every nook and flaw in my face. If there's little hairs growing here and there and everywhere, so I can get it. I, that just cracks me up, his and hers. Then over here, this is a book that I have had for such a long time. Oopie, I don't know if you can see it. There it is right there. Being an esthetician, I always wanted to be an esthetician. I think if I wasn't a nurse, I would be an esthetician. I love skincare. I love, my mom always loved it. So here's the genetic piece of it. You do what your mom does. My mom always, always took care of her skin with lotions and potions. And I love it too. But I do have you know, I inflammatory response. I do have psoriatic arthritis and I have psoriasis, right? So I need to be extra careful about my face. And I love 
looking at textbooks but this has been around forever and I think I talked about this once before about some really archaic things that they have talked about next <clears throat> is my jewelry so this is what I weed through I have a big old jewelry box right that has oh my gosh you know I make jewelry in my past life you know when my hands were still working so good but now I had to put that aside for a little bit and these are the, the, the different kinds of bracelets and necklaces and earrings that I wear all the time. So I have a little collection there and I can't have just a plain mirror. No, I have to have a jeweled mirror <laughs> because that's who I am. It is who I am, you guys. So look at all these little bits and pieces of me showing through mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the finest of them all? Renee! I'm going to be teasing. I'm not teasing. This is me. So this over here was filled with things. My husband couldn't even put his little, um, oh, what is this? Um, Norelco to get his beard, to get his little hairs in all his different places, okay? He puts it right here, plugged into the wall. That's the only space that he had. And I was just consumed with every other space. So I'm charging my watch, and then I have the side that has my lotions and potions. Now, do you have lotions and potions? Is this something that you can say that is important to you? I really want you to look at what you have in your bathroom to know what is important to you. What is it? So you can say, I know about me. I know that I can't put these things away. They have to be out there so I can grab them immediately. So, you know, put below, just to chime in, what is important to you after you look around in your space? What makes up you? For me, it's skincare. It's skincare. So I have a hydrating cream. I also, and this is a serum. And with my serum, I use my rollers. Okay, I love this roller, it vibrates. And I change it out for my eye portion. I have a body butter that I love. Um, over here, I have self tanning drops, really important to me because I used to self tan and that's why I'm left with all of these fine lines and wrinkles and I don't do that anymore. So I'm into self tanning drops and I love this company. And then I love all my other products. So anti-aging eye cream, an anti-aging serum, I'm catching a theme here, and toner. And then I come over here, and then these are the creams for my hands. I love a hand and body lotion, a citrusy one, a fragrant, um, a perfumey one, and another one, another citrus hand and body. So I'm sure you all have your favorite lotions and potions that you put on your body. Now I wanna come over here. So the number one thing that I had all over the place are my essential oils. And I ended up putting them into this really cool thing that my daughter left me. I'm gonna come down here. And it's one of those three tier plastic items, right? And I organized everything so it's in one place. You guys, it took up everything. What is the one thing that you have that takes up all of your space? The one thing. So you can start prioritizing. For me, number one is essential oils. Look at the case that I had to put it in. Three tiers and it's on top. That's my number one. Number two, skincare. All over there, you guys. That's what I use every day. It has to be right there. Also with skincare, I'm gonna show you, this is really being vulnerable inside my bathroom. So this thing right here, all my skincare products, it's a little dark in there, and my hair care. Skincare, number two. Number three 
is this thing right here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just push back here. So that is my little tear and it's super disorganized, right? So that's me. That's me just throwing things on there. That's who I am. I'm not neat and organized like this over here, but this truly is me. And everything is all mixed together. But what my third thing is, that is number one over there, is makeup. So I love, love, love makeup. It's my next third most prevalent object in this bathroom. So what are your three things that are so super important to you? After looking at your bathroom, putting things away, where are you gonna put them, number one? Do they have to be out, exposed all the time because you reach for them so frequently? And number three, what do you have most prevalent of, right? Did I name that as number one? I think that is number one, two, and three. And you will see who you really are and what's super important to you. So you guys, have fun in your bathroom. If it's a mess, it's a mess, it's okay. If one day you decide to clean it up and start fresh and then start leaving things around, go for it. That's how I am. But whatever it is, whoever you are, enjoy those things because you are beautiful. No matter what objects you have in your bathroom, it on you or inside of you, that's what makes you just a beautiful child of God. So blessings to you all. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.